Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christy Lukasiak. Thank you for joining me today. If you are not already subscribed to the channel, please make sure that you subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you know when I am posting. Today's video I'm really excited to do because this has become such a fun thing that I do on my Instagram stories. So I always ask people to share secrets on my Instagram stories and like, tell me a secret. And they choose to tell me like a secret maybe that they have or a secret that maybe they know, but it's all anonymous, no names are revealed. We do protect the innocent here, but some of the stories I get are ab absolutely wild and I don't share all of them I'll go through sometimes on my Instagram which if you're not following my Instagram you totally should it's Christy Lukasiak but I thought it would be kind of fun today to go through and read some of the answers that I have not shared on my stories and listen just full disclosure here I am certain that not every single one of these secrets that people send me are real however it's all in good fun and if these secrets are real they are wild so the first one says I have an online boyfriend that lives overseas and my family has no idea. So I'm going to assume when you say my family has no idea, maybe you mean like your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother. I'm not going to assume you mean like your husband and your children. If this is the case, this is kind of like a wild secret, but if you've never met them and it's kind of like this online thing, I'm going to say that this one is not all that shocking, but the fact that nobody knows about it, I mean, it's a pretty good secret. Next is secretly hooked hooking up with my ex and not mad about it. Okay, a lot of you out there are hooking up with your exes, I'm just saying. And look, what does hooking up really encompass? Now, depending on the person, no judgment for me, depending on what you are doing by hooking up with your ex, if it's not hurting you, it's not hurting them, neither of you are in a relationship, nobody else is getting hurt, by all means, hook up, have fun, enjoy yourself. It's the summer. You're supposed to do stuff like that in the summer, am I right? So this one says, I'm going on vacation overseas alone. I'm 16 for over a month and my dad doesn't know. Okay. No, 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 no. As a parent, I have to put a stop to this. Do not do that. That is so dangerous. I like, I am recoiling inside. Like I'm so tense thinking about this. Oh my God, so many things could go wrong, especially because you're overseas. Do not do this, stop, do not pass go. Cancel the ticket, cancel the plans, don't do it. There's nobody on earth gonna know where you are. This is how really bad things happen. Do not do it, seriously. I don't like that secret. When I was younger watching Dance Moms, I thought you and Kelly were dating. <laughs> no, Kelly and I were not dating on Dance Moms. However, I mean, to be honest, we were together more than we were with our husbands. So in a way she was like my common law wife, I feel like, right? But no, we were not dating. Okay, this one's interesting. This person had a threesome with twin sisters. Okay, I feel like this is a lot of people's fantasies and you are living them out. So, I mean, again, it's a little shocking, but good for you. I mean, look, I'm very open-minded everybody's happy, everybody was safe, then have at it. Okay, <laughs> got a lot of these. I went to jail when I was 17 and my best friend bailed me out. My parents never found out. I mean, you're 17, you're not an adult yet, so I don't think this is gonna go on your permanent record, so that's good. I kinda need more information, like what did you go to jail for? Was it like underage drinking and they busted a party and they put everybody in the back of a car and like took you? If that's the case, I feel like a lot of us, maybe even might have been there. One of my very favorite stories of a child's first birthday party is when a bunch of sisters sat around and revealed to their mother at the birthday party that the youngest sister had gone to jail about 19 times and the sisters would pool their money for bail and the mom never knew and the mom thought the youngest was an angel. So to say that she was shooketh is an understatement, but I don't think this one's all that bad as long as the situation wasn't all that bad. You know what I mean? This one's a little wild. When I was at a friend's parents' house, I broke someone's urn and I hid it in a closet. Are you talking about an urn with ashes? Because if you are, there's a lot to unpack there. Like perhaps some of the ashes went on your shoe and now you are carrying around like a traveler. Like do you have a traveler attached to you? I mean, did you put it inside of something so ashes wouldn't get on somebody else's shoes? Was it a pet? Was it a person? I need more information, but this one's not my favorite. This one's a little unnerving to me. I mean, yeah, this one, this one's a little much for me, honestly. All right, I'm hooking up with my boss <clears throat> and his 10 year old daughter 
found out. A lot of you are hooking up with bosses, which again, fine by me, as long as all of the circumstances are okay. But the 10 year old daughter finding out, like how did she find out? Did she read a text? Did she walk in? I need more information before I can adequately react to this. Because if this is like, I saw something inappropriate that's gonna scar me and I'm gonna need therapy for the rest of my life, then this is a pretty brutal one. <laughs> This one's really funny. I used to call Kelly's house phone. I have to say many, 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 many of you would call house phones. Sometimes our cell phones would get leaked back in the day. There were times when we would wake up and we would have like 50,000 missed calls and 875,000 texts. And then we all had to change our phone numbers. Calling Kelly's house phone is kind of funny. I mean, honestly, when I was younger, had we had the internet, I would have totally been calling like Corey Hayes. I'm not even gonna lie, but I used to pretend to call people like, you know, celebrities, I used to pretend to call them. And also we used to prank call people all the time, but this one's kind of funny. I never loved my ex-husband despite a 13 year marriage. I knew it the day I said I do. Like that's a tough one because I feel like a lot of people probably have been in the same boat and you go through with the marriage because like everybody's expecting the wedding and you're a newlywed and then maybe you have a baby and then you have kids to raise and then it just kind of like snowballs and then boom, it's 13 years later and you're like, what did I do? I sacrificed my own happiness just so other people weren't upset. So this one, my heart goes out to you because that one's tough. I learned curse words when I was like five from Dance Moms. First of all, I'm just gonna be the first to tell you, Dance Moms is not appropriate for a five-year-old. I mean, honest to God, it's not appropriate for a 46-year-old at times. However, you are not the first child to tell me they have learned curse words from Dance Moms. Look, we're here for the people, what can I say? Yes, we had very colorful language, and even though it was beeped out, there were times when you could definitely decipher what we were saying. I do apologize. The fact that you never heard those curse words in your house gives me like a salute to your parents good for them and I apologize on behalf of all of us <laughs> I can barely read this one out loud it says my guilty pleasure food is fried crickets and milk honest to god it's so good I don't believe you I'm so sorry I just don't I don't want anything with a lot of legs although I do eat lobster but this like it has a thorax I don't want to eat anything with a thorax. If you like them, good for you. This is one of the reasons I can never go on Survivor because I can't eat the bugs. I just can't. True story, I was in a Mexican restaurant once and I ordered like table side guacamole and they're like, do you want crickets? And I'm like, what's a cricket? And they're like, crickets. I'm like, oh, what? what is a cricket? I thought it was like a jalapeno. And they're like, crickets. And then they showed me the bowl of dried crickets. I'm like, no, crickets for me. Thank you, Aunt no. So I had an offering of crickets. I passed crickets and milk. I can't. I can't even say it, I gotta move on. It says, to be honest, I really didn't like you on Dance Moms. I mean, truly fair. I was very much a lot to take. And when I rewatch Dance Moms for my recap podcast with Kelly, Back to the Bar, if you haven't watched it or listened to it, you totally should, it's a good time. I'm going to say that I did not like myself on Dance Moms a lot. And I have issued several apologies for past behavior. <laughs> so very self-aware, uh, yeah, didn't love a lot of it. So I kind of agree. So this person said, I have a fiance in a whole second life in New York. My husband and kids in Texas don't know. How, how do you have this? I have questions. I can barely go to the bathroom alone without my children and my husband knowing exactly where I am at all times. How do you have an entire second life? This is like a movie. This is movie level. This is lifetime movie. Let me know if you want to write a script. I probably know some people who could have it made into a made for TV movie. I'm just saying, oh God, just so you know, several of you have slept or are sleeping with or in a relationship with your cousins, okay? I get a lot of cousin situations. So this one is, I slept with my distant cousin after we got drunk on tequila. Okay, distant, how distant? Are we talking like great, great, great grandparents? Cause if so, then I feel like everybody sleeps with their distant cousins. Cause aren't we kind of all related? Have you seen like ancestry? I feel like those trees go on forever. If you have hung out at each other's homes on holidays, or you've both gone to the same grandparents' house on a holiday, I don't think tequila is an appropriate excuse. I'm sorry. <laughs> Although I know in a lot of places it's totally normal to marry a cousin. It's just not what we do here. I don't think. I don't know. All right. Oh God. I saw my mom and stepdad having sex on the couch. It's been five years and I haven't sat on it since. Fair. 
Have you sought therapy? I feel like you need some like uh, radical acceptance therapy, maybe hypnotherapy to block that image out because I feel like that's very scarring. Oh, this one's very popular. Hooked up with a coworker several times in the office building. I mean, look, it makes the work day go by faster. Oh my God, okay, this one <laughs> made me literally laugh out loud. I used to look up my teacher's court records in third grade and one of them had custody issues. I hope that you have pursued a career in investigative journalism, criminal investigation, or just criminal justice, truly. Because let me just tell you, if you're looking this stuff up in third grade, I can only imagine the type of information you can find on the internet in today's day and age. Kudos to you, I am so glad the internet didn't exist when I was younger and that we did not post pictures online because I'm sure those would haunt me till the end of time. This one is hysterical. I still don't know my left and rights. Girl, same. I tell everyone I feel like I missed that day in kindergarten. I constantly have to go like this. Okay, left is over here. I do not know why I can't just do it. I have to think about what hand I write with and I think I'm kind of smart, but I always have to think about which one's my left and right. So you are not alone. All right, so those are some of the secrets that you guys shared with me this past week on Instagram. Again, if you're not following my Instagram, go to Christy Lukasiak and hit follow. I do a lot of these secrets online. Let me know in the comments below if you want to hear more secrets because let me tell you, some of them are insanely juicy. Like this video, comment below, and I will catch you back here next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.